All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from KHAX Nation. And in today's video, we are back with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, this time going over the newest and latest metal in the game called Supernova Plus Plus Fiend. Okay. Now, just like usual, as you might notice, there might be a little bar at the bottom of the video uh, showcasing how far along we are and as to what topic I'm currently discussing. So first of all, we'll go over the banner, okay, what it's offering, as well as what the metal actually does. Then I'll go into my thoughts about it, and then I'll go uh, and like how good it is and whatnot, and then I'll talk about whether or not I think you should pull for the metal or not. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting off, this is the actual banner itself. Uh, you are guaranteed three Kingdom Hearts 3 medals, which at this point is kind of worthless um, because of the fact that there's so many Kingdom Hearts 3 medals and most of them are honestly outdated. That doesn't really matter. You get, you get one, uh, what's it called? Trait medal along with it as well. Two power gems and 10 VIP coins. It also comes along, the medal itself also comes along with a attack boost 9 max and lux plus plus skill which is actually not too bad because i believe that is currently the best lux skill in the game at the moment okay as far as i'm aware uh i think the i think as of right now the only ones we've been getting in like boards and whatnot were and pulls or wh whatever from external sources has been attack boost 8 max and Lux Plus Plus, or 7 and 8 max, I believe those were the highest. So 9 is definitely the highest as far as I'm aware. Um, you do get Supernova Plus Plus Fiend in 10 draw, so it is a 10 mercy pull. Uh, and I'll get into my thoughts about that in a, in a bit. All right, Going into the actual metal itself, this is what it looks like, to be honest. I don't know where this artwork came from. And I know a lot of people in my Discord were kind of confused by that as well. So if anybody happens to know where this is coming from, uh, if it's coming from anywhere, feel free to let us know in the comment, se comment section down below. Okay, I know we, I heard some theories that maybe it was from Dream Drop Distance, but no one so far, as far as I'm aware, could actually confirm that. So by all means, if you know where it's from, let us know. Anyways though, in terms of what the actual metal does, Okay, it has a maximum strength of 52,000. Okay, it's a single target metal, does more damage with one enemy or zero part left. Okay, and that's it. That's all it does. It literally, it doesn't have an ability basically. It just, it's just a pure damage metal. It costs six gauges, is a tier 10 metal, has a damage multiplier of a 4.2 to a 67.2. The supernova target it's a single target supernova, and it has the ability for two attacks, including itself. It raises the reverse metal strength by 7,500, recovers six gauges, does a fixed amount of damage, and triggers before slot five is activated when defending in PvP. And it, the fixed amount of damage is 13,000, okay, which is kind of weird, in my opinion. Uh, anyways, though. Now, in terms of what I think about it, how good is the actual metal, it's, I mean, there's not really too much to be said about this metal. It's straight up just a raw damage metal. Um, quite honestly, the biggest comparison you can make about Supernova Plus Plus Fiend is that it's basically just like another version of Dark Baymax and Kingdom Hearts 3 Pirate Sora. Uh, it's honestly not too different. The only difference, or main difference, notable difference, okay, or, yeah, relevant difference between Fiend and those other two metals is the fact that when you actually cast the metal, it doesn't actually consume 30 gauges like Dark Baymax and Pirate Sword does. So, that means you can actually have extra attack trait and, uh, copy metals on it okay and actually use it over and over and over again as a pure damage metal if you really wanted to okay that's the main benefit about this metal that you can actually abuse it and use it multiple times the main reason why Kingdom Hearts 3 Pirate Sora and Dark Baymax aren't really meta or used that 
often, if at all, is because of the fact you can't do that. You can't really cast them more than one time. Sure, there are medals out there, like the uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Toy Story medals, like Woody and Buzz and stuff, that can recover 30 gauges. However, the problem with that is that those medals, their damage is just so outdated at this point that you're basically sacrificing damage to gain damage to the point where it basically just evens out. And you might as well just use a better damage medal instead of Buddy or Woods. Um, or whatever other medal that you happen to use that recovers uh, large amounts of eight, uh, gauges. Any metal right now that recovers like those huge amounts of gauges, like 30 gauges and stuff, are basically outdated in damage. Uh, so that's kind of why those two metals, uh, Pirate Sword and Dark Bamax, aren't really used. Just because of the fact you can't really take advantage of them like you would want to. Uh, Fiend, though, you can take advantage of it. You can use copy metals on it uh, and just copy the crap out of it as soon as you get all your buffs and such. Uh, you can have extra attack on it as well uh and yeah you just you can just abuse it that's that's basically it the, the main thing i would like to say about it though oh I, it also has one of the highest uh strength stats in the game as well that's worth noting so on top of being having like a really damn good multiplier assuming you have a single target enemy uh it also has one of the highest strength so it can definitely output like crazy amounts of damage um, one thing worth noting about the metal though too is the fact that it does not raise any metal strength on its own by its base ability and it's only the supernova that actually raises metal strength and even then it's very questionable because of the fact that it says two attacks but realistically like for many of you casual or yeah i guess casual players a lot of you players out there when you when you see two attacks you might think that two attacks after the supernova but that's not actually the case what happens is that the supernova itself using the supernova counts as one of those two attacks the reason being is that the buffs any buffs on any ability the way that the game works is that any ability that applies buffs and debuffs the buffs and debuffs get applied first before the attack actually does damage okay so the way that the game register things is that it says for two attacks it raises uh reverse metal strength by 7500 so the way that this would work is that it would actually raise the metal strength by 7500 first and then it would execute the supernova damage attack okay in which case the game would register as one of those attacks one of those two attacks so realistically after you use supernova the supernova you only have one extra attack left or one attack left to take advantage of the 7500 strength before it wears off um and that's kind of like the dilemma about it so realistically the main way you would want to use supernova plus plus fiend is almost primarily in the pet slot um just because of the fact that you right now the meta in the game is entirely of metals that can raise metal strength okay you want almost essentially an entire setup full of metals that can raise metal strength because of the fact that you can raise more metal strength than what fiend's strength is currently at sure it's the highest in the game um and you can get away with with just having fiend in the pet slot and having the rest of your setup uh raising strength okay but the one of the biggest issues is going to be that there's gonna be a there's a lot of quests as well where because of the fact that a lot of enemies are starting to return with counters and stuff um and if you can you can actually abuse the fact that the enemies have counters you can make them wear off their counters and have that strength carry over so realistically for enemies like those having metals that can raise metal strength every single time you use them is a way more valuable compared to a raw damage metal. Right now, raw damage metals are, even though they're still good and they can still have a place, they're starting to become a little bit outdated now at this point, where realistically, unless the, the damage metal itself raises metal strength and has a raw amount of uh, strength and multiplier, high multiplier, if it doesn't have the metal strength part in its ability it's probably not worth obtaining okay you could still use it but it's not going to be nearly as useful um now 
One of the things about this metal, though, that I think they're trying to play off about it is the fact that because of the fact it comes with attack boost 9 max and Lux++, plus plus, it kind of feels like they're trying to make this into a raid boss metal. Okay. In which case, it can, it can actually be pretty decent uh, if you do want to go that route as a raid boss metal. Um, because as of right now, like, because of how many metal strengthening metals are coming out of the game and like almost each new one becomes meta and such uh at least personally for me for example whenever i obtain like a new metal i haven't had a chance to like actually try and legitimately create a raid boss metal in quite a t such time now um with the moogle shop being out and such and the fact that we normally get so many trait medals these days through the banners themselves and the avatar boards for those banners because of the VIP coins you get through the banners and stuff. Uh, and you can usually get like 20, 30 trait medals for that one medal. Um, it's It can be fairly, and we have the Moogle Shop itself to just straight up purchase uh, the traits themselves, especially if you have VIP for that week. It's, it's very easy to get the traits that you want these days. And I haven't had an opportunity to actually try and create a raid boss trait uh, any like anytime soon lately. So this, if you do want to go the raid boss route, okay, for for raiding, this can actually be a decent metal for raiding, uh, especially because the fact it does it's such a hard hitting single target uh, one hit metal, and any hard hitting one hit metal tends to get you the most lux. Okay, compared to any other type of metal. So this is actually not a bad metal for raiding. Whether or not it's the best, probably not. If you probably had, if you just had um, another high damaging metal that raises strength, and your entire setup is full of strength and metals, that would be the ideal. Okay, assuming you have a raiding setup that fits that criteria, but that's a little bit more difficult to do. Um, if you're looking for a more easier okay and still efficient way to do raiding and you're just like rather than trying to invest an entire setup you just need like a single metal for raiding or something like that this can definitely be a very budget option a very solid budget option for raiding but outside of raiding if you're not really interested in raiding okay or you don't need another raiding metal uh this just kind of not really much of a reason to go for this just because everything else in the game aside from raiding basically needs metals that raise metal strength for the entire setup and can potentially carry over as well if uh if need be if the enemy is running any counters that you can help make the strength carry over so aside from that based on what i just said you could probably already get an idea as to what i'm going to say about whether or not you should pull for this so in terms of whether or not you should pull for supernova plus plus fiend realistically probably not most of you this is going to probably be a skip to be honest only any raiders out there might be interested in getting this metal aside from that though there, there's not really too much to get about to get this, this get this metal I'm sure it's probably one of the strongest metals in the game. It's definitely the, a raw strength, uh, damage metal. But because of the fact it doesn't really have any of the metal strengthening abilities in its base ability, not the supernova, but the base ability, like the normal casting uh, ability, it really doesn't have a place right now in the current scope of the game and where the game is heading towards in the direction it's going in. So... Aside from that, go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KX Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.